Oh, we bless God and we give him praise always. The glory and honor is due him. Thank you, Lord God. And I bless the Lord this morning. I thank God, amen, for his word. And even as we've been sharing, thank you, Lord God. Amen. And even as we started out, as we shared with you, praise God, the assurance, the assurance, amen, uh, of God and the promise of God that, you know, we have this assurance that, you know, whatever we ask, and I still thank God for his word. It's the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, the will of God, which is the word of God, we know that if we're asking according to the will, that he hears us. And if he hears us, we know that we have the things, praise God, that what we're asking him for, because we're lining up, amen, praise God, with his word and what his will is for our lives, thank you, Father, I bless God this morning, you know, amen, in Psalms 20, verse 7, verse 7, it actually says these words, some trust in chariots and some in horses, (laughs) but we will remember the name of the Lord our God, and basically what he's saying is this, you know, to understand you know, when we say uh, some trusting in, in chariots and horses, they're trusting in the symbols, which uh, the symbol, which actually a uh, military thing, you know, this was their strength. Chariots and horses, that was a symbol of their strength. You know, these instruments of war, you know, this was their power, this was their glory. But I thank God because even here out of Psalms, amen, 20. And I just want to put this in your hearing, you know, backing up just a minute here, praise God, in verse 5 where it, where it says, We will rejoice in, amen, thy salvation. We're going to rejoice in, amen, the saving God. We're going to rejoice in this and in the name of our God. And we will set up our banners. We're going to put our banners up. We're going to wave these banners, y'all. Amen. And even as the psalm, amen, it says, The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. In verse 6 it says, Now. Know I, the Lord, save it, amen, his anointed. God, he sa- He saved his anointed. And he will hear him, praise God, from, from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. And this is why in verse 7 where he was able to say, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but you know what? We will remember the name of the Lord. We're not putting our trust in, amen, possessions. We're not putting our trust Amen. In 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 things. <laughs> in things, my God. In things. But we're trusting because even understand some people trust in, you know, their wealth. They trust in their financial, you know, uh, 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 their money, finances, and they trust in, praise God, uh, technology. Some trust in, you know, their physical strength. These are things that people, you know, put their trust in. But we're gonna trust in the name of the Lord. And we're just going to say to you this morning, trust God. I know you've heard it before, but understand this. Let's put it this way. Trust God, period. There's a period at the end of that. Trust God. That's it. Trust Him. Thank you, Lord God. And what we want to look at in the Word of God. Amen. We want to go to Exodus. If you remember, praise God, when God brought the people, the children of Israel, after crying out for so many years, you know, for deliverance. Amen. They were in bondage. They were in slavery. And they cried out to God. And God heard those prayers. And this is still, again, something to encourage all of us that God hears the prayers. He hears the cries of his sons, his daughters. He hears. Not only do we hear, but he answers. And I thank God because after a period of time, God raised up someone. He raised up Moses. Amen. And when he told Moses, look, I want you to go and tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Moses, he goes to do what God's telling him to do. Amen. But it wasn't without, amen, praise God, uh, uh, some type of struggle. (laughs) And to understand that the struggle came from God because the Bible said that God, he hardened his heart. He hardened Pharaoh's heart. And the thing was, there was, a, there was something that God had to show Pharaoh to let him know. There were plagues that came upon the land. And I know that we know the story. But even to understand, let's pick it up. This is where we are right now. That Here it is that Pharaoh has agreed to let the people go. Amen. And I want to look at Exodus chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 10. Amen. Praise God. Read through 14. And we're in the New King James Version. The Word of God says, And when Pharaoh drew near, he has already let him go. When Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel, they lifted their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians, they marched after them. And the Word of God says, So they were very afraid. They were very afraid. And the children of Israel, they cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, 
because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away, amen, to die in the wilderness? Why have you so dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt? Is it not the word that we told you in Egypt saying, let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians? Yeah, are you crazy? <laughs> what? God. For it would have been better for us to have served the Egyptians. They know that's a lie, like we know it is. Amen. Then we should die, amen, in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Stand still. Thank you, Lord God. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians, thank you, Father, the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you. Look at that, y'all. The Lord will fight for you. I'm talking to somebody this morning. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. I thank God because even here, when it seemed like, oh, when when they see, praise God, that, amen, their only hope, this is still even for us to understand when when it seemed like there's no hope or you your only hope or your only help is God, we can't help but what? Trust God, trust Him. And even here to understand, as again, we know the story, we see what's taking place, amen, and even where, here it is, They've left. They have left Egypt. But to understand, there was a way that God wanted them to take. And I still see this is like a divine setup, a setup. It's a setup for them and a setup, amen, for the Egyptians. Here it is that they got the Red Sea in front of them. And not only that, now here comes Pharaoh after letting them go behind them. And so what it is, it looks as if though there's nowhere to go. And what I was reminded, amen, what came to mind, I remember in 2 Kings chapter 7, if you guys remember the story of the four lepers, amen, and, and, and this is uh, 2 Kings, praise God, 7, amen, verse 3. Remember, this is what they said, why do we sit here until we die? They were saying there's no food in the city. So if we go in the city, we're going to die there. If we stay here, we're going to die. So they, they made a decision. They said, so let us go. Amen. Let's go to the Iranian camp. And if they let us live, we're going to live. If they kill us, we're going to die. Basically what they were saying, you know, either way, whatever we do, we're going to die. If we sit here, we're going to die. We go forward, we're going to die. We go back, we're going to die. Either way, we're going to die. So they said, why, why just sit here? And to understand, this is what happened with this particular story. The lepers, they were sitting at the entrance of that city gate. But they made a decision. Their decision was, let's go in. Let's go into the Arabian camp. Hoping. They were hoping. Amen. Hoping to be spared. But let me tell you, right in the midst of all of this, because this is still what we need to know when we say, trust God, period. Trust God, right? Here it is that the Lord had called the Arabian army to hear the sound of chariots and horses. <laughs> chariots and horses. And when they heard those chariots and horses, talking about the Arabian army, what they did, they ran away. They, they left everything behind. They left their tents. They left their horses. They left their, everything. They left everything. They went running. And the lepers, they enter, when they entered into the camp, because, see, they made a decision. We're going in here. When they made the decision to go into the camp, amen, what they found, they found riches. They found food. They found, amen, the share of goods, you know. And, and what they had to do, they had to go back and just share this with, amen, praise God, Samaria, because there was a famine. There was a famine. They were experiencing a famine. But what I'm saying, something happens. Something happens. When we trust God, period, there's a period at the end of that this morning. Trust God. Nothing else, just trust God. We don't know how he going to do it. We don't know when he going to do it. You don't even know. This is the thing. It's about trusting God, believing God, and even here for, for coming back, going back to the story with, with, with the children of Israel. Here they are, Red Sea in front of them. Pharaoh's army behind them and all they could see that you know the fear that comes upon them and, and look at what Mo Moses tell them 
You know, don't be afraid. How many times have we heard, don't be afraid? It's still coming back. This is the thing. God has not given us the spirit of fear, lowercase s. He has not given us the spirit of fear. Because what we're dealing with, you're dealing with spirits. We are spirit beings. Amen. The spirit of God. We got the spirit of God, but knowing. Amen. Everything that we do, yes, we're in this body, but understand, amen, praise God, we war, amen, in the spirit, in the spirit. Thank you, Father. Amen. And too many times we want to fight with, amen, you know, the carnal, the carnal stuff, you know, this flesh want to fight, putting the dukes up, what? You know, and grabbing things, let me, you know, let me handle this. No. But even as Moses says to them, don't be afraid. Stand still. Stand still and see the salvation. Can I say that to you this morning? Stand still. Stand still and see the salvation. See the deliverance of the Lord. Stand still. Quiet your spirit and see. Amen. Praise God. Trust trust God. Trust Him in the mighty name of Jesus. And I bless God because you know what? We know how this, amen, how this story went. How it ended. Thank you, Lord God. Because even in the word of God, that even as, praise God, we read that to you and, and what happened to know. He was telling them, he said, the Lord shall fight for you. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. He goes on and the Lord, amen, said to Moses, amen, because Moses, he cried out to the Lord. The Lord said, why, why are you crying to me? <laughs> there are some things, y'all, listen, we're going to have to pray about. But then there are some things where you just got, there's action that has to be taken. And what the Lord tell, he told him, he said, tell the children of Israel, go forward. God is saying, move forward. Move forward, people of God. Move forward. And he told Moses, he said, but lift up your rod and stretch it out. Amen. Stretch your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go over on dry ground. Amen. In the midst, praise God, of the sea. I know sometimes when we're looking with that natural eye, we talked about that natural eye, that we got to learn to see things in the realm of the spirit. In the natural eye, you can't. Hey. Red Sea in front of us, there's no way out. But my God, when we trust, when you trust God, period, when you trust God. And even as Moses did what God was saying, what the Lord was saying to him, what to do. Thank you, Lord God. The Bible let us know. Amen. Indeed, praise God. God had hardened his heart. God hardened, amen, Pharaoh's heart to make him come. Because look, what Pharaoh thought was they ain't got nowhere to go. So he thought, <laughs> oh God. That's what he thought, and this is why I say a divine setup. Could it be that what you're going through right now is just a a divine setup? Thank you, God. And still knowing that God is making a way. Thank you, Father. You may not be able to see it with your natural eye, but in the realm of the Spirit, you see God. You see God, and this is what we have to do in the midst of everything, all things still. God, let me see you in the midst of this. Let me trust you. Let me take you at your word. Let me know, thank you, Lord God, without a shadow of any doubt that you are God. You're the sovereign God. You're the ruler. You're the maker. Thank you, Lord God. You're the creator of everything. And my trust is in you. It's in you. And I thank God because even to understand, thank you, Lord God, in the word of God, you know, if you read it in in verse 19, the angel of of God went before the camp of Israel and moved and went behind them. This was the thing. They had a cloud. Remember, and God was leading them. But understand now what that pillar of cloud did. It went behind them. Went behind them. And the pillar of cloud, when it went, amen, that went before them. Thank you, Lord God, it stood behind them now, but even here, amen, it, became, it came in between them, amen, and, and, and the Egyptians. God just have a way of doing things. I don't know, amen, what the enemy is trying to do in your life or trying to discourage you with, but I thank God because still we're saying, if you trust God, trust God right there, trust God, trust him in the name of Jesus. And I thank God in the name of Jesus because even as the word of God, when he stretched his hand, when Moses stretched his hand over the sea, the Lord caused the sea, amen, to go back by a strong east wind. That's the word of God. And I thank God because what the children of Israel were able to do, they were able to cross over. They crossed over that sea. They went through it. They went through it. They had the waters that was on the right and waters that was on the left. But understand, they walked through it. 
Amen. Dry ground. Dry ground. Thank you, Lord God. And I praise God because the Bible says that the Egyptians, they pursued. They went after them into the midst of the sea. They thought they could do the same thing. But you already know what happened. It didn't work. It didn't work. Amen. Praise God. And even to understand. Amen. The word of God. Let's put it in your hearing. And the Egyptians, they pursued and they went after them in the midst of the sea. And Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. All of them. Right? And it came to pass. Thank you, Lord God. It came to pass in the mighty name of Jesus in the morning. Amen. That morning watch that the Lord looked down upon the army. Amen. Of the Egyptians through. Amen. The pillar of fire and the cloud. And he troubled the army. Amen. Of the Egyptians. Amen. And understand. And he took off. Amen. Their chariots wheels. So that they drove them. Amen. With diff- They drove it with difficulty. They had a hard time doing what they were doing. Amen. And the Egyptians said, let us flee. Let us go back. Amen. Let us flee from the face of, of Israel. You know why? Because the Lord fights for them against us. They recognize. Y'all, and still, this is something you and I have to recognize. God is fighting for you. We belong to God. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. And it doesn't matter. When I say it don't matter, I'm not saying that what you're going through doesn't matter. But what we're saying, it doesn't matter how much is coming, what is coming, or how it's trying to take form. Thank you, Lord God. You still got to know that God is God before us. That's more than this world could ever be against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm saying to you this morning, trust God. Period. Trust God. Trust Him. And even thank you, Lord God, because just as the Lord spoke the word, amen, thank you, Father, and telling Moses what to do. And even to understand when Moses relayed the message to the people of God, he said, amen, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The Lord is going to fight for you. And did he not fight for them? Is God not still fighting for you if you let him take him? I bless God this morning. Father, we praise you. We glorify you in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for being God. Being God. You're God. You're God. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You are, Lord God, our strength. You are, Lord God, our shield. You are, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, our hope. You are, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, our everything our everything, whatever you need him to be because there are so many needs in the lives of his people. And whatever your need is, God is that. He'll be just that if you allow him to be just that. Our healer this morning. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, there's somebody, Lord God, that's looking to you right now, independent Father. Healer. Thank you, Lord God. Deliver us. In the name of Jesus. Strength right now. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, Father, we pray. We pray, Lord God, a comforter. We pray in the name of Jesus, somebody right now, their joy, God, that you, joy, in the name of Jesus. In your mighty name, God, whatever it is. But, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that even as the children of Israel, their eyes to be open. This is our prayer. Open our eyes to see and understand, Lord God that you're God and you're moving in the midst of us. You're moving, God. We praise you. We glorify you right now and we thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for restoration. Restoration taking place in families even now. Dreams, God. Dreams. Restoring dreams. Restoring, Lord God, visions. Lord God, you gave vision. You gave vision. And wherever you give vision, you make provision for it. God, that all we have to do is just trust you trust you. Take you at your word. So Father, I thank you this morning. Whatever it is, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, you you call it out. You call it out. Whatever it is, your mind has to be made up. God, I trust you with it. I trust you. I trust you. In the name of Jesus, we praise and glorify you, Lord God. Thank you this day, Father, once again covering your sons, your daughters, 
in the name of Jesus, those, Lord God, already in the workplace, those preparing for work, those that's on their way to work, thank you. Thank you, God. We praise and magnify you. Thank you, Father, for being, Lord God, our source and still knowing that the job is only a resource. It's a resource. It's, it has always been you, always will be you, who provide, Lord God, our every need. We thank you today. We bless and honor you right now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you for sons and daughters. Thank you, Lord God, our children. Thank you. We praise you, Father. We still speak in the word of God over them. You're not moved by what you see. No, you're speaking the word of God, what God said, in the name of Jesus and who God called them to be. Thank you, Lord God, not what the world tried to make them to be, but it's who God said they are. In the name of Jesus, we trust you, God. Period. We trust you. So by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, we render whatever it is, every single thing that's coming up against you, all these strongholds and evil altars, in the name of Jesus, every demonic spirit, every attack, we surrender to you, God. We surrender it all to you in the name of Jesus. And we still declare it out of our mouth. No weapons formed against us will be able to prosper today. It won't succeed, neither will it prevail. Because we trust God. We trust God in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Sometimes we have to go back and just look at what happened in these various stories and it'll help you to know Thank you, Lord God, what God can and what he will do if we just trust God in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. I pray that, amen, I pray that your hearts have been touched this morning from the prayer and the word uh, coming from the woman of God. Trust God. Trust God no matter what. You're going to go through some things, amen, praise God. And I believe when you come out, you're coming out stronger, better, and wisely if you just trust God amen and trust the process listen as you go throughout your day I pray that you are encouraged and that you will encourage others around you speak life and not death speak victory and not defeat and know that you're way more than conquerors you overcomers you've been brought with the price the precious blood of Jesus Christ live on purpose live with the purpose and live the purpose driven life God bless you we love you and go in peace